All right. Has any of you guys ever heard of breed specific legislation? No? All right. So I guess you all don't know what it means. <laughs> it's where they create laws to ban specific types of animals, the specific breeds. And you never know when they're going to try to ban the pit bull in where you live, let's say New Jersey or any certain cities in New Jersey. And really, if they ever try to do that, it takes everybody to make that decision. So your opinions will count. I'm Alan Furnico, and I'm going to go into depth about how pit bulls aren't mean and dangerous and some visual mental characteristics of the breed. And hopefully they will change or enforce some of your beliefs in case that ever does happen, especially with the breed-specific legislation. I remember that a bunch of you guys said that you did own dogs or pets. Fortunately, nobody owned a pit bull. So uh, does anybody in here remember when they adopted their pet, what they were looking for, like size, shape, health, uh, Anything like that temperament? Trevor. Yeah. Um, what, nice baby blue eyes? Yeah. Well, gray eyes. Gray? Oh, all right. All right. Well, the American Pit Bull Terrier is an average sized dog, muscular. They are known to have a very healthy life and they have one of the best temperaments. Now, pit bulls' personality is built by nurture, not nature. Pit bulls are as dangerous and mean or playful and safe as any other pet, and as, as, the, alone, excuse me, as the owner allows them to be and trains them. Pit bulls were never bred for human aggression, and they were not being, or born mean, <laughs> nor genetically are they mean. They're like all dogs and somewhat like humans. They're, when they're born, they are very highly impressionable. All right. um, just like most pets, including dogs, they are the way they are because of training. And in order to make a dog aggressive and stuff like that, there's a lot of lack of training, abuse, neglect, and irresponsible ownership. Since most of you have experience with pet ownership, I hope you know what it takes to be responsible pet owners. Pit bulls are friendly, active dogs that need a lot of exercise. They're eager to please inquisitive and very intelligent dogs. Contrary to popular belief, pit bulls are patient and adore children. This is what makes them the perfect household pet. They tend to be aggressive toward other dogs, but some coexist well with other pets. Uh, for example, my pit bull gets along with my mom's 10 pound Shih Tzu and my dad's small cat. And then he gets along with all the other animals when we go to the dog park and everything. So he doesn't really shine, show signs of aggression unless the dog's trying to intimidate him. Uh, while a dog of any breed may become aggressive, especially when raised in an abused environment, pit bulls are not by nature aggressive towards people. These dogs crave love and attention. Uh, yeah, that is my dog, the brown one on the top. He was on the cover, actually. Him and his buddies are scattered throughout the presentation. All right. Uh, pit bulls are medium sized with short hair, a sturdy muscular build. As you can see, their chests are pretty, pretty bulky. Mine's a little shrimpy, but it's all right. Uh, uh, sometimes their, their ears are cropped and their tails are cropped, but I don't believe in that. I don't think it's fair to the animal. And I actually think they look better with the long hairs. He looks too serious. That's where all the intimidation comes from. Uh, pit bulls have normal jaws just like every other dog. They don't have the locking jaws like some people say. It's just a myth. And also, they don't have the strongest bite. So if you guys are scared or if anybody you know is scared because they say how their jaw locks and they bite hard, the German Shepherds and Rottweilers actually have a stronger bite. And they stated that on Animal Planet. And for annually recorded bites on Annual Planet, they said that the Golden Retriever has the most recorded. Pit bulls are one of the oldest domesticated breeds. On Pitbull 411, they stated that their written pedigrees date back to the 1700s when few breeds actually had recognition. Uh, they were bred back then for 
they were bred as working dogs for use in ranching and hunting. And then they evolved now to family pets, but they went through many stages in between that. And they were once America's favorite dog, but now they're a controversial breed. During World War I, most artwork depicted pit bulls as represented the United States. And you can see how it's changed to now. And this right here, this uh, pit bull, Sergeant Stubby, he was in World War I, and he was a war hero who saved several soldiers and captured a German spy. And I mean, as you can see, they decorated him with a lot of medals and stuff. He looks kind of funny, but he played a major role in society. And this information all about Sergeant Stubby I found on dogslovetoknow.com. Now, on fatal dog attacks, they stated that the 448 cases of fatal dog attacks from 1965 to 2002 were no documented single case of a neutered pit bull was on file, which caused a human fatality. Now, in 2005, many dogs attacks that weren't pit bulls were Labrador retrievers, boxers, golden retrievers, and many other dogs also. A majority of dog attacks are not even related to pit bulls, and they are just mistakenly identified as one. Especially, they, in some cases, they are purposely identified as a pit bull by reporters just to try to make a top headline, especially now with all the pit bull hype that's going around. It draws a lot of attention. Um, an example was in the newspaper headline. It read, uh, New York or New York newspaper, pit bull attacks toddler. Yet when you read the story, it clearly identified it as a boxer. And as you can see, none of these guys up here are pit bulls, and they sure as hell look mean to me. You know, so it's not just the pit bull breed. It really has to do with how you raise them and the ownership. And actually, in, uh, I think in the Netherlands, they banned a pit bull. And after a year, the, the guy in charge, I don't know if it's a president or a king or something out there, they actually reversed that because it showed no improvement in dog bites. Now, the banning of the pit bull, like I said in the beginning, it's also known as breed-specific legislation. On doggynews.com, they said it seems like pit bull bans are spreading like wildfire across the United States. It is also occurring in many other countries, including Canada, which is really close. Uh, pitbullrescuecenter.com states that breed-specific ordinances are just quick fixes and not sufficient long-term solutions. Dog problems are generally problems with the owner's responsibility and not limited to each individual breed. Communities that have instituted such bans find that irresponsible owners and the criminals who use dogs for illegal purposes just switch to another breed or they don't even obey the, the dog ban. What the government really needs to focus on is creating harsher laws